Ready. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, lands that punch. He blocks the punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. It's the elbow there. There's no give on that leg kick. Dude, how about the volume and elbows? Oftentimes we see an elbow and it's one and done, not the case here. He's so confident with those elbows. He's so good at getting it tight and just throwing it back to back that they do land. Germago Medoff gets absolutely melted by that head kick. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, what a punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, keep it busy in the clinch. Dirty boxing here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Nice kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Muay Thai plump. That knee might have landed there. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with it. Big leg kick land. Nice straight punch. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in that position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of here. Oh, lead in the head, that never feels good. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land beautiful punches to the head. Single collar tie here. Nice strike. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. He lands the right hand. These guys are going at it. Elbow to the head there by Nurmagomedov. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Nice head kick. Man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, big head kick. That hook, yep. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Ten seconds to go in the round. Yes. 
Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Marco Medov gets caught with that punch. Checks the leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Beautiful kick. They continue to exchange. Nice shot to the body there. Visibly limping here. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch there by Nurmago Medov. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Marco Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Great punch landed with so much power. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And they separate. That one snuck in. Nice play. He's, he's limping now. Liver kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Big kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice loop and punch. And there comes the separation now. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Round number two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon. Oh! Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Can't take many of those, you better check. A little single collar tie there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real quick leg kick. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards. Clearly winning the fight and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with his strike. He caught well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big leg kick lands. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Nice leg kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice punch, man. When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown follow. So pretty impressive work by him here against the fence, not just staying busy, but staying accurate as well. Staying very accurate, active, making those strikes matter. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nermago Medov's knee attempt here looked like a good one, but it gets blocked. Whoa! All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back and working on a guillotine. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, "Oh my goodness, I'm winning." Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because. The oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that 
one. Big leg kick. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that kick is good by Nirvana. Mago Meta. Mago Meta. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Rick. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this The timing is the timing on the point. Great job of mixing everything up. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Got their single collar tie. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Tags him with the overhand. Big shot to the head. It's messed up really bad. Done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. What a punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly training at the gas tank of your opponent. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie now. Oh, knee to the head. How did he swallow that one? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 
All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, and he caught the kick. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Dig and kick. Well, looks as though his leg here, you can even see him limping a little bit. Nermako Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got a short up the defense here. His leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big body kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Slicing elbows comes around the corner. That only happens if you can gain posture control. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And they clinch once again. Good stick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so, so many left jabs. So left jab. Throw that right down the pipe. It's unreal. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Landing with conviction now. Now a knee. Big kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Checks the leg kick. Nice head kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Beautiful strike. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Right hand punch to the clinch. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elves. And they separate. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. All right, single collar tie now. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. Got the single collar tie. Another punch to the head. Really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, an obvious limp there. His for certain. 
straight punch lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. What a body kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Good punch, Lance. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly a Sanders mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L. This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big kick lands. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Right hand punch from the clinch. Looking to land the right, the right just out of way. Just out of way. That was a thudding leg kick. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. The final horn sounds. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by...